Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. Well, by this time, I am in Manila getting ready for services tonight. Greatly looking forward to seeing all of you at Main Campus and South and East tonight. The tour group will all be coming in on tomorrow night, but I want to teach you for just a few minutes one more time from the top of the Dan Panorama Hotel overlooking the ancient city of Jerusalem. That hill you see in the background with the tall tower on top, that is the Mount of Olives where Jesus will place his feet one day, split it in two, and a river of living water will flow out. Right now, let's go back to the book of Mark chapter 10. A very simple thought today. Verse 21, Jesus is speaking to the rich young ruler. The Bible says Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go and sell everything you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and then come and follow me. We know that the rich young ruler said, Lord, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Now, eternal life, Jesus defined as an experiential knowledge of the Father and experiential knowledge of the Son. So Jesus said, this is what you're going to need to do. You want to know God. You want, you want to have an encounter with God and know God by experience. This is what you need to do. And he gave him a command. He said, go sell everything you have and give it to the poor. You'll have treasure in heaven and then come and follow me. A command of love. Now, if a pastor were to say something like that today, we would be crucified. But this is a command of love. Jesus said, get rid of everything you have that's hindering your relationship with me. Money has come in between you and me. Decide what's important in your life. Is money important in your life or am I important in your life? Get rid of the things that are barriers between you and me and then come and follow me. Now, this is what Jesus does. Because he looks at us and because he loves us, he takes notice of our life and he loves us. He says, get rid of anything in your life that comes between you and me. Anything that's a barrier, get rid of it and then come and follow me. Now forgive me, but some of you today, you have relationships that have come between you and Jesus. You need to get rid of them. For some of you, it's your job. For some of you, it's like the rich young ruler. It's money and the desire for things. But whatever it is, there is nothing in this universe worth your relationship with Jesus.